friends, welcome back to Nassau's Nook. Sorry this is so late. Um, my hair is still wet. I just got out of the shower. Um, I've been working on stuff all day. I had a big list of things I wanted to do over the holiday, but instead of working on the house and the things I wanted to do, I was spending time with my husband. Could you imagine that? <laughs> Anyways, well, because he's gone and I'm still doing the little mini series eating for one, I didn't film yesterday's because I figured you guys knew how to pour a bowl of cereal. That's what I ended up having for dinner last night. So um, usually I make this uh, quesadilla actually in the June, but I'm going to try to do it in the combi and see if I like it any better. I might, I might not. You know, if I don't, then I won't make it like that ever again. Um, but we've been just really busy here. Well, I've been busier. Um, I don't know for sure if you guys saw in the community page about um, being very diligent about, uh, you know, having uh, fire extinguishers and fire blankets and know your route out of the house and you know that whole safety plan um my father-in-law that was is it was his house that it happened to um he doesn't know for sure exactly what he's doing but there is a chance we will have him on a temporary basis possibly a, um, a long-term basement basis he doesn't know we don't know nobody knows so the meals that I usually cook for the two is now going to turn into uh, three is when he gets here um, he's still deciding on um, when and how and you know we're working out all the stuff and then meanwhile I've been working on all the stuff that I've been trying to work on uh, since over the holidays and then of course because I store food in the closets that's got to come out of the closet so they can actually have the full bedroom instead of just the bed and dressers pretty much so um that's things we've been working on obviously when mark gets back home we're gonna be a little bit busier to try to get that all taken care of but you know you do what you have to do and you respect your elders and you always have you know your you give your heart out to whoever and that's just the type of person we are um we had my mom for the past I think she was with us I think the last three years of her life and I told Mark I said you know because he didn't know his biological dad that my stepfather is the, or his stepdad was the one that raised him and his brothers and sisters um, so I told him I said you know I mean you did not say anything as far as you know my mom staying here and the, and the time it took where Rudy he's very um, he's older. He's almost 80. Um, his birthday is the day before mine, matter of fact, in July. But he's he gets around very well. Um, it's not like it's going to be like a thing where um, I had 24-7 care of my mom. He'll be like zooming around doing what he does, you know. So that'll be nice too. And if he comes, like I said, that'll be great. If not, you'll still see the meals for the two of us. And then if other people come over, then you'll see um, the bigger meals like when, when Kim comes over or his brothers come over or whatever have you. But this is just a simple um, one-person meal. I just wanted to keep you up on what was going on so you're like, who's this? You know, if you see him in the film. So that will be who that will be. And, of course, and I would introduce you if that's something he's willing to do. Um, and that's what we'll do. So I usually keep all my cheese, actually, in the half-gallon jars. I ran out of, I mean, I have some lettuce left, but it's only enough pretty much to... Um, Put lettuce on things that I'm gonna still have while Mark's gone because I'm gonna see if I can't not not go to the store while he's here while he's gone um, the roads and stuff um, Portland did actually have school today I guess a, a couple buses got hit today a couple, couple of them went in the ditch today um, so the roads have been really bad and the kids have missed a tremendous amount of school um, so that that is something that just happened so what I do is I usually just put up some cheese and I put some salsa and because I had cut up those onions, and I didn't want my onions to go bad, I still have a few onions. And, you know, the girl loves her onions. So I'm going to go ahead and put the onions in here so the onions don't go to waste either. I'm going to try to use what you have type thing. So what's going to happen is I'm just going to go ahead and fold this over and try to keep that cheese in there so it doesn't melt to the tray and make a bigger mess for me to clean up. And I'll raise the camera. We're just going to go ahead and air fry this. Let me get this cheese off my hands real quick. <clears throat> and go ahead and open up the air fryer. Go ahead and put this in. I'm going to put it on a lower setting. I don't like to have things way up to the top. And like I've told you guys before, this right side is down 
the left side is everything on the left, but the air fry is over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower this down to the 350. I don't usually pop, do anything at the 390. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this down to, and I don't even think it's even, I'll do it like seven minutes. And, and it's on air fry, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. That's gonna start doing its thing. And then what's gonna happen is I'll cut it up and I'll eat it for dinner. So um, hopefully that works. You'll come, I'll bring you back once this is actually um, done and you can see what it looks like coming out of the combi. Hopefully it's good or better than it does coming out of the June, but I don't know until I try it, so I'll be back. All right, now you see a, a spoon here on my on my quesadilla. Uh, the, the flap was flapping up and I didn't want it to keep getting caught in the fan and stuff above. So that in that six minutes, that cooked it a lot faster than the combi does, or I mean, than the uh, June does. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this nice and crispy. And it's too hot for me to eat. But I think, other than my, that one that kept falling or getting up to the fan, I think that's going to work very well. I mean, you can see like on this one. I think that's going to be a nice, you know, easy, uh, fast dinner for myself. So um, my question is, on some of the stuff that I've made this week, is that things that you would make if you were cooking for yourself? I mean, obviously the bowl of cereal is like number one for most people. But um, what else is it that you like to cook uh, for one person or fix a meal for one person that's, you know, pretty much simple and easy. So let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed my little fast little quesadilla and you all have a very, very blessed and wonderful night.